This video will show basic usage of the Big Warp plugin for Fiji. Here I have Fiji open along with two images. You can run Big Warp either by plugins, Big Data Viewer, Big Warp, or by typing Big Warp into the search bar. When you run Big Warp, a dialog box pops up which will allow you to choose which image will be moving or which image will be transformed and the target image. When you press OK, three windows will appear, one containing the tar target or fixed image, another containing the moving image, and another that will be a table that contains the landmarks that we will be clicking. First, I'll change the colors of the moving and target image by pressing P, which opens up this card panel and I can select magenta for the moving image and green for the target image. Great. In Big Warp, you click landmark pairs by pressing spacebar to enter landmark mode and then clicking on the moving image and to the corresponding point in the target image. I'll click a few landmark pairs now. Navigation is done using Big Data Viewer controls. Once a few points have been clicked, you can press the T button to apply the transformation, um, which we can see here has been applied. Pressing T toggles whether or not the transformation is applied. In either window, the F key toggles the overlay. So we see at the moment the alignment is not very good. But using Control O or with File Import Landmarks, you can select a set of landmarks to import and here I previously selected a few that give us a pretty good alignment. Pressing T again toggles whether the transformation is applied or not. But once you're satisfied, pressing Control E or File Export Moving Image brings up this dialog with many options that you can mostly ignore. Pressing OK will export the transformed moving image into Fiji, which we can see has now appeared and is there. If we compare it to the target image, it is the same size and is reasonably well aligned. And that's the basics of Big Warp. Other topics will be covered in further videos.